you guys. Did I ever think this day was going to come? No, but here we are. So for those of you who are not aware, I will be going to nursing school in the fall and I have heard from like basically everybody in my life online like everywhere that apparently for nursing school like you need an iPad like that's non-negotiable and I was always like you know what like okay but after thinking a lot about it and talking to my family and just you know seeing what was up the day has finally come the day has finally come I know I won't be going to school until the fall, but I mean, I figured if I already knew I wanted one, why not get it now? <laughs> Before I start, I really just want to say thank you so much to my family who allowed this to happen. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm like, oh, girl, I'm so, so excited right now. My lights just flickered. That kind of scared me. All right. So we're going to get right into it. This is the iPad Air. This is the fifth generation. I got the Wi-Fi version, not the cellular, just because for me personally, I don't really think that's necessary. I'm gonna be using it in college. On a college campus, like no matter where you are, there's Wi-Fi. And I really just can't imagine taking my iPad someplace that I'm not gonna have Wi-Fi. And I also have a hotspot on my phone, so I really think that would be fine. And I got the 256 gig version. At first, I was kind of like, all right, that might be a little too much. I could stick with the 64. My phone is a 64 and I don't really have problems with it, but it was under a hundred dollars difference. And I was talking to my dad about this and we kind of both decided that for under a hundred dollars difference, we're already paying kind of a lot anyway. Like we might as well just, you know, get the good version so that I can use it for school. I don't have to worry about the storage and all of that. And last but not least, I got it in the color Starlit, which is actually the same color as my Apple Watch. I don't know how well you can see that, but for reference. Part of the reason why I decided to get an iPad Air instead of an iPad like regular schmegular iPad is because I'm gonna be using it for taking notes primarily and so I thought that it would be really important to me to have the second generation of Apple Pencil just because there are so many more like features and like special stuff that you can do with it and I feel like it would just make my life a lot easier like if I'm in class and taking notes and stuff so I did get the iPad Pencil the Apple Pencil as you can see, they kind of covered it with labels, which is kind of annoying because I ordered online because I don't know if you know this, but listen up. If you are a college student or you are in school of some kind, they will give you a discount. So I ordered both of these online. I ordered it on not the Apple website. I ordered on the Apple education website, which is it's the same thing as Apple, but I think that these two things combined, plus tax and plus everything, I think I saved about $100 on both of these combined. So it's not like a crazy amount considering how much the iPad and the pencil actually are, but it definitely is a good thing to consider because, I mean, who doesn't want to save $100? Like, hello. And I'm not going to lie, when I ordered on the apple educational site they did not ask me for a student id and i have one but they did not ask for it and when i went to pick it up in the store today they also did not ask to see my student id so i'm not saying why i'm not saying scam but i'm just saying that for me personally they did not check to make sure that i'm a student so that's all I'm saying. All right, let's get right into opening this up. I am so excited. Oh my God, this is the actual first time I've ever gotten an Apple bag. And I walked out of the mall today feeling so fancy. Like I felt like that girl. And it is still in the plastic packaging on the outside. And I'm, oh, I'm so excited. That is, that is the first time that has ever happened to me. Kind of annoyed, but Apple and their packaging game, like, I have never unboxed, unboxed something 
as satisfying as an Apple product. So as you can see, here it is. Here's the box. I can't do this like I did with my AirPods. By the way, if you don't know this, I have an AirPod Pro unboxing video on my channel as well. So you can go check that out. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. I have really tiny hands. And I'm afraid I'm gonna like make this go flying everywhere just because I can't open it. Okay, it's finally been opened. I literally had to hunch over on my bed to open it, but this is it. Oh my goodness. All right, so I think we just peel this. We, there's this tab right here, peel that, and that lifts it up like so. Oh my goodness. And suddenly, spending all that money on an iPad was worth it. Like... Ooh, okay, this camera actually looks really good, so I'm excited. I don't know if you've ever FaceTimed from a Mac before, but the quality is just, it's not good. Girl, look how clear that is. Hello. Oh, that is going to get dirty in five seconds. It's officially mine. I have unpackaged it. I'm not even going to touch it with my hands because I don't want fingerprints on it yet but here she is this is the color it's like a it's kind of like a light gray but a little whiter if that makes sense it's like imagine imagine beige plus light gray that's what this color is i just thought it would be very minimal looking i thought that you know i changed my mind a lot and i thought this was a color that i could be happy about for you know a long time and i don't know if you know this but at the bottom of the ipad here there are three little dots and that is for if you want to have a magnetic case i think there's a magnet on this side too but you can't really see but this actually like snaps in i know that um apple cases if you buy them from the apple store they have these and it makes like a little click sound when it snaps in but i know that you can also get those cases from amazon and stuff like that too and i don't think they're as nice but they're definitely a lot cheaper so all right let's turn her on oh by the way this is the 10.9 inch design i think that's the only kind of ipad air there is but i'm not positive all right we're pressing and holding oh my goodness my favorite thing is when you're turning it on for the first time and it pops oh it's doing it it pops up and it says hello that oh i love it and then it does it in all the different languages oh this is actually at 89 percent which is kind of surprising because usually when i get an apple product it's at pretty low battery so we're gonna we love her we're gonna put her aside for now so that we can open the apple pencil just kidding i actually lied i'm gonna finish opening this box first because i forgot there was stuff under here so this there's a little tab right here if you pull it up there's like the instructions and how to use and all that stuff so love her thank you and then here at the bottom we have we had the charger <laughs> here she is this one also has a little wrap on it which i love how it's glossy i mean if you want it matte i guess you can keep the wrapper on there and then we have this part of the charger i'm gonna have to figure out how long the battery life is because i am a little bit nervous my room does not have very many outlets, so I have to use them wisely. And then I'm trying to take this out, but that's it. That's it. So that was everything in the iPad box. Now we're officially going to move on to the Apple Pencil. Here we are. Here she is. I'm kind of mad that they put the little pickup label on the front because I wanted to show you because I was excited. One of the big differences between the Apple Pencil first generation and the second generation is that the first generation, you have to plug it into the iPad. You have to plug it into this port on the bottom in order for it to charge, which means it's kind of like awkwardly sticking out even if you want to keep using the iPad. But the second generation Apple Pencil actually has a magnet in it and it magnetically like kind of attaches to the outside of the iPad and that is how it charges. All right, here's the tab. Here we go. Oh my goodness. 
my favorite words designed by apple in california <laughs> again we have the instructions this is actually kind of thick what happens if i pull this out oh my goodness okay yeah just a lot of directions it's really simple honestly you just kind of attach it and i know that because of seeing people with their life together on tiktok so here we are and i'm just gonna pull this little tab up here Ooh, oh my god i almost dropped it that would not have been good all right so this is the apple pencil it's kind of a kind of a matte feeling the original one has a more glossy feel to it the second generation though has a flat side i don't really know if you can see very well but it has a flat side and i know that on a lot of apps if you are holding it like this and you double tap the flat side it'll like switch from like a pencil to an eraser or from one tool to another tool and you can customize it but that is just like a really cool feature so we're gonna see i don't know which side oh there we go clipped right on so let's see i don't really know how to tell if it's charging yet but I also know that these tips right here can wear down after a while if you use them like a lot. And you can also buy replacement tips. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them on Apple Store. All right, so it clicks on the side with these two buttons. Good to know. All right, so now that we are all unboxed, I'm going to try to set this up. I'm going to swipe up. Obviously, we're clicking English, United States. I don't know if this is like a toxic trait or something, but I don't like syncing stuff. I like setting it all up manually just because I get so excited. Oh, I do have to connect it to my Wi-Fi, so let's try that. I don't know the Wi-Fi password. Oopsie. Do you hear that? When I try to type. <laughs> all right, I am back. I did connect to the Wi-Fi. Oh, hello. I'm gonna try to see if the eye, I, why do I keep calling it an eye pencil? Oh my god, I'm sweating right now. So I'm gonna see if this works. Oh, girl, it worked. Okay, and so there is touch ID, but the touch ID is on the top apparently. Interesting. Oh, okay. I have to cover the top button completely. Apparently I'm having a hard time with this. Capture all of your fingerprint. Girl, I tried. This, this is the whole thing. It's telling me that like I have to cover the entire button with my finger, but I have small fingers and I think that it's getting mad at me. Add another fingerprint. No, we're doing that later, girl. All right, we're making a password. I'm not gonna tell you. All right, password has been set. So I'm just gonna click, um, what should I do? I'm just gonna click, I've never had another iPad before. So I'm just gonna click don't transfer apps and data, but I do have to enter my Apple ID so that I can you know, text, email, FaceTime, and just like have the same account on both devices. So I'm gonna do that now. I entered my Apple ID, forgot the password for a hot minute, but we got in, don't worry. And then it says, it's gonna take a few minutes to set up. The date is right, but the time is wrong, which is kind of whack, but I think that's just because she's a little confused. Whew, I am sweating, is obvious, probably obvious. It officially linked my Apple ID, so I'm just gonna click continue. It's setting up like my Apple ID, my email, my Apple wallet. Oh my God, I got a notification on my phone. I hope that didn't, ooh, stop the video. Agree, I'm agree. I will so blindly agree to terms and conditions. They could put like in the seventh page in, we will charge you for murder. And I'll click agree. <laughs> like, I know that's not just me, right? Like, that can't just be me. Set up later. Welcome. You go. Oh my God. This is my iPad. This is my iPad. My life officially is together now. I am officially organized. I literally haven't touched anything, but you know what? I'm organized. I am that girl, okay? I'm getting my life together. Whew, I'm feeling good. So, just so you know, when you are on this screen and you swipe this way, oh, yes, this way, and you scroll down, it has the Apple Pencil battery. So, I'm gonna try to charge it. We'll see how that goes. Click. Yep, and it's right here. Oh, oh okay. And here, teaches you how to use an Apple Pencil. Continue. Oh, you can handwrite. 
that's fancy that's fancy i'm not setting that up now goodbye go away hello <laughs> and then at oh hello well at this screen it'll tell you oh it did tell me wait let's try it again yep tells you the percentage right up there girl i'm so excited i made a mess in my room just like throwing packages everywhere but i also ordered a glass screen protector and i ordered a what's it called an ipad case i ordered both from amazon i can link them in the description if you would like i ordered them today so i don't have them yet but all of the products that i got from amazon had really really good reviews so i do have trust they're supposed to get here by tomorrow but i was too excited and i couldn't wait and i wanted to open it so here we are let me know later if you want like uh how i set up my ipad kind of video because i am fully planning on being like you know one of those girls who like has all the organization has the cute wallpaper has the widgets and all that very much my new vibe so yeah like i said the case and the glass screen protector will be in my description i wasn't sure if i wanted to get the paper like feel just because i've heard many mixed reviews so i was just a little nervous and i didn't want to spend after you know buying an ipad again did not buy the whole thing thank you so much for my family i love you but after spending money on an ipad i was like you know what i'm just gonna play it safe i'm gonna get like a regular screen protector and then later like once i start school and i'm like oh i really want one then i'll probably just get one because they're like 20 bucks on amazon but just a little recap like i said i got the 10.9 inch ipad air in the color starlight with the 260 something gigabyte and i got the apple pencil second generation and i got it from the apple education site because you get a discount so if you're a student or not a student definitely check it out apple products are too expensive like girl but anyway thank you so so much for watching if you like this video i do like i said have an airpods unboxing on my channel i posted that i want to say the very end of 2022 but i think that is the first video that is public on my channel right now it just hit 10k views i just checked so if you're watching this go check how many views it has and like put it in the comments so i can see like when you guys are watching this video but seriously thank you so so much for watching let me know if you want more videos like this because i love doing them if that has not been obvious even though i'm like profusely sweating right now like i feel like i need a shower thank you for watching i love you i appreciate you and i will see you next time